Hello, and welcome to today's online information session about our fully online professional program in health informatics. I'm Stan Wisner, the Director of Behavioral Health Sciences here at UC Berkeley Extension and Director of this new program. I will be answering your questions that you submit during this presentation. Thank you for joining us today. I'll start our presentation by telling you a little bit more about the rise and continued growth of health informatics roles in the healthcare field. I will then briefly describe our fully online health informatics program and how you can get started so that you have the education and skills to succeed in this increasingly in-demand position. I encourage you to submit your questions at any point during the presentation, and we will try to answer each of them as time allows, or respond to them after the presentation via email. Please bear in mind that some of your questions may be addressed in content presented later in the talk. So let's get started. I hope in this short presentation you will come away with a sense of how important health informatics is and the resulting need for professionals who have the necessary skills and knowledge. Health informatics is essential to the delivery of quality, patient-centered health care in the United States and around the world today and will be in the future. In general, the healthcare industry will continue to drive the nation's employment growth through 2026 by adding around 4 million new jobs, accounting for about a third of total job growth. This data was recently provided by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The growth is projected across health care settings, including hospital and ambulatory, where well-documented, easily understandable, and easily acquired information is key to patient care. So where does health informatics fit into this 4 million new jobs? Changes to the health care reform and increasing health care costs have driven change in all areas of health care. During this time, there has also been an increased use of electronic health record systems due to the Meaningful Use Program. The need to address the triple aim, improve care quality and population health, while reducing costs, often through technology and automation, is driving the need for more health informatics professionals. Health informatics helps meet the need for a more patient-centered, more efficient delivery system. All healthcare clinical professionals need to be able to access and draw from upon the most up-to-date medical information available to inform their diagnostic and treatment decision-making for individual patients. This means having the right information available at the right time and the right place. The trick is to make the systems and the processes support the needs of the people doing this work. Electronic health records help track patient care and allow health professionals to make the most informed and appropriate choices for their patients. These choices are based on the wealth of data available in their patients' records associated with clinical decision support systems, as well as with the ability to electronically share information with other providers. In fact, a recent survey from HIMSS reveals that both consultants and or vendors of health informatics and hospitals continue to be generally aligned on the prioritization of health information and technology issues, suggesting that efforts to address information and technology issues should enjoy synergies from a broad spectrum of industry stakeholders. The evidence in the report also suggests that hospitals employ a wide range of information and technology leaders and that the influence of these individuals appears to be expanding. Top focus areas for health informatics work included the following. Electronic health records, improving quality outcomes through health IT, data analytics, clinical and business intelligence, health information exchange, interoperability and data integration, and clinical informatics and clinician engagement. So, where does health informatics fit into our overall healthcare system? As most publicly funded and private healthcare providers increase their use of electronic health records and use more clinical decision support and population health management tools, patient outcomes and overall population health should improve as well. While many systems support the delivery of healthcare and associated data, health informatics professionals put the people process, and technology together to get the work done and partner with a diverse set of stakeholders. 
So how can UC Berkeley Extension help you achieve your career goals and become skilled and competitive in this growing field? UC Berkeley Extension is the continuing education department of the flagship campus, UC Berkeley. Since 1891, we've been assisting students in reaching their professional goals and accomplishments. We offer more than 65 professional certificates and specialized programs, and more than 2,000 classroom and online courses, with 45,000 enrollments each year. We pride ourselves on academic excellence with courses, instructors, and certificate curricula approved by appropriate campus departments. Our certificates also require academic advisory boards comprising campus faculty and industry leaders who review the curriculum to ensure that it's up to date and in touch with emerging trends and hot topics. Our instructors, most of whom work in the field, bring their real world experience to the classroom. So when you enroll in a UC Berkeley Extension course, you're guaranteed a real-world professional Berkeley education. So let's focus on the professional program in health informatics in particular. When you couple your undergraduate studies, or perhaps a related advanced degree, with our program, professionals from both medical and IT backgrounds will have the skills to meet the growing use of technology in healthcare delivery. While we don't require a bachelor's degree for this program, we do strongly recommend it because it will increase your chances of being employed based on your understanding of, the sum, of some of the broader issues in the health and social sciences. The Health Informatics Certificate Program can help prepare you for a wide range of positions, such as health informatics specialists, including informatics lead, clinical informatics specialist, clinical informatics management or analyst, application analyst, digital health specialist, EHR project manager, population health informatics manager, health informatics data analyst, health informatics director, imaging informatics lead, quality informatics analyst, population health application analyst, pharmacy informatics lead, informatics support specialist, then in addition, there would be a demand for a wide variety of consulting positions in the field. So in order to complete the program and earn your award of completion, you must take four required courses, which total eight semester units or 120 hours of instruction. Because all four courses are offered online, you could complete this program in as little as three months if you're studying full time. If you are planning or continuing to work while you take your courses, you could finish this program in around a year by studying part-time. In either case, you have up to three years to complete the program in order to receive your award of completion. So let's dig in a bit more into the actual courses that you'll take. Here's a list of the four required courses that you'll take. We suggest that you start with Introduction to Health Informatics. After you've completed at least some of that course, you can take the other three required courses in any order you'd like. So in the Introduction to Health Informatics course, you'll learn all about health information technology. This includes a variety of systems such as patient electronic health records, decision support systems, and administrative applications. You'll focus on how information is acquired, stored, retrieved, and used in a variety of healthcare applications. While these systems work together, healthcare organizations are able to provide better care and to operate more efficiently. Integrating the three disciplines of information science, computer science, and healthcare, this course provides an introduction to the concepts and practices of health informatics from a clinical and financial perspective. You also delve into understanding the role of an informaticist. In population health management, you'll learn about how technology can be used to improve population health outcomes. These technology applications may include electronic health record systems, personal health records, telehealth, mobile health apps, and other third-party systems. Population health management must consider the patterns of health determinants as well as interventions that link health determinants to health outcomes. This course introduces students to the basics of population health. 
health systems are being used to support population health management, and what healthcare organizations are doing and need to do to impact population health in the future. The role of data, information exchange, and analytics are covered as well as areas such as population health surveillance and data visualization. Then, in interoperability standards and health information exchange, you'll understand why interoperability requires healthcare information to flow seamlessly across workflows, settings, and organizations. Not only does interoperability allow organizations to work more cost-effectively, it also has the potential to impact care. As a result, there needs to be standards and the associated architecture to support this. You'll study the steps needed to achieve interoperability in healthcare, as well as standards such as HL7 version 2, CDA, and SNOMED CT. You'll also learn about current efforts regarding health information exchange. Then in the final required course, Electronic Health Record Systems, you'll learn about how electronic health record systems make patient information available instantly and securely to authorized users while providing a broader view of a patient's care. You'll start by getting an overview of how electronic health record systems are used in a clinical setting and then integrated with patient flow and clinical decision support. You'll also learn about quality reporting, quality payment programs, new care models such as telehealth, and strategies for EHR implementation and optimization. Our instructors, like lead instructor Melanie Meyer in this program, are eager to teach, love sharing their knowledge base, and are all working professionals with hands-on experience in their fields. To talk more about Melanie, she describes herself as a healthcare performance improvement leader, focusing on informatics, value-based care, quality and analytics. She received her master's degree in healthcare administration, a graduate certificate in predictive analytics from the University of Maryland University College, and earned her PhD in health services from Walden University. Since 2005, she has held a variety of health informatics roles at organizations such as Stanford, Kaiser, Dignity Health, UCLA Health, Sutter Health, EvoScale Health, and Gartner, focusing on optimizing the use of electronic health records, analytics, and revenue cycle systems, and more recently with a special focus on population health. You'll take all four courses in our online learning environment. Each course is ongoing, continuous enrollment, meaning that you can start the course as soon as you enroll in it. No need to wait for a specific date to start your class. You progress through each course at your own pace, and you can complete the class in as little as three months or take the full six months. Your learning materials are always accessible in the online environment. Group discussions, forum posts, and instructor post questions all provide numerous opportunities to interact with your fellow classmates. You'll learn by reading materials, watching videos, interacting with your instructor and classmates. Assignments include activities using health informatics applications as well as other real-world projects. You submit your homework assignments and research projects electronically. Your instructor will provide feedback and grading as you progress through the class. So, how do you get started? Well, we recommend that you have your bachelor's degree or some practical experience working with or for the healthcare system. You start by taking the Introduction to Health Informatics course. This will provide you with a basic overview of the field and help you see the big picture before taking the rest of your courses. I encourage you to also sign up for our monthly emails. You'll get announcements about courses that are coming up, as well as new blog posts. To earn your award, you'll need to pay a one-time registration fee of $100. I suggest doing this after your second course. Once you have registered for the certificate, you will also get access to a website that has upcoming events, announcements, course syllabi, job announcements, etc. So after you take the Introduction to Health Informatics course, you can take any of the other required courses. There's no need or no particular order to follow at that point. So please go ahead and take a course or two to see if you enjoy this type of work. If you're intrigued by the coursework and want to pursue the award of completion, then go ahead and register. 
You'll need to complete all of your courses with a C, grade, or better. The total cost for all of the required courses is around $7,800. Probably one of the biggest benefits is that you pay as you go. You don't pay for the entire program at once. You pay for each course one at a time when you're ready to enroll. Once you've completed all of your courses, notify the department to receive your award. Well, we've gotten a number of questions from those of you listening in that we've hopefully been able to answer during this presentation. Here are some additional questions that some of you have sent in. First, are these courses and credits transferable to a secondary degree? Well, the answer is yes. You're earning academic units that are often accepted by other degree programs, but it is up to the receiving organization. UC Berkeley Extension units usually travel very well. Another question, can any of the courses be substituted or waived as requirements? Unfortunately, not for this program. Another question, I haven't taken a college class in several years. So what can I expect in the classroom experience for someone like me? How much homework is expected? As an adult learner in life experience and a work history, you will do quite well, I'm sure. Our instructors are very student-centered in their approach to teaching. If you keep up with the readings and assignments, at least one hour for every hour in class, you should do just fine. Another question about financial aid. Is it available for students in this program? No, this is not a degree program, so you do not qualify for federal financial aid. But private bank loans are certainly an option for any of our students. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have to take your questions. But if you have any additional questions that I wasn't able to answer, here's our contact information. We would love to hear from you and discuss how this certificate or individual courses can launch you into a successful career as a health informaticist. Thank you again for taking the time to learn about our certificate. I look forward to seeing you in our online classroom.